Deers killed in Taraba road accident. Talcum not sold owners for Taraba Kingship Tooth. General Njuma. Good morning, viewers. Welcome to Taraba News, the voice of Tarabas. I am by name Alfred Enna. The news in details. At least six women have been confirmed dead after an 18-seater bus converting them from Gambu, the headquarters of Sardona local government area of Taraba State, lost control and some assaulted. Our reporter, Sam Bodorasi, files in the report. The victims identified to be members of the women wing of the Christian Association of Nigeria, who we can. Taraba State Chapter were returning from a conference on the Mambila Plateau. A press statement by Imam Ebelu, a spokesperson for Governor Abu Kefas, described the accident as heartbreaking and devastating. While condoling with the families of the victims, Khan leadership, who we can, and the entire Christian community in the state and the country at large, the governor described the event as a Black Sunday and stated that the circumstances of their death was regret, regret, terribly tragic. The governor pledged his administration continuous commitment to save our roads, especially within areas that pose great threats to lives and has directed that local government chairman maintain existing roads with proper traffic controls, signal, and basic repairs. The statement added that he would work to minimize the sad occurrences of road mishap occasioned by roads in the state. Sambo Dorati reporting Taraba News. Former Minister of Defense, Teoklus Njuma, he has said the Talcum Eti Group does not have the sole ownership of the traditional tool of Talcum in the Talcum local government area of Taraba State. Boy patient files in the report. Mr. Danjuma, a retired Nigerian Army General, stated this on Saturday at the installation of the new chief of Talcum, Sophia Boshi, in Talcum State. The Kuta people had rejected the appointment of Mr. Boshi who is of the Chamba ethnic stock by Governor Abu Kefas to the first-class traditional stool. Overlay, clever, closed logo, the Takum are claiming exclusively rights to the stool, and the ruling of houses of the group filled as case at the State High Court in Jalingo, challenging the appointment. However, the case was dismissed by the courts for lack of substances. Mr. Danjuma said the Kutep were not originally original members of the royal family and accused the people of inventing a new history for Takum. Those protesting against the appointment of the new chief of Takum were never born in Takum and were the same people that are saying Takum town belongs to them only, the former army chief said. Mr. Danjuma said when he was young, the Kutep were referred to as people of the hills. He commended Governor Kefas for doing what his predecessor could not do for over 27 years. I was to congratulate and salute Governor Abu Kefas for breaking the jinx. We sincerely thank him. In his address at the ceremony, Mr. Kefas said the vacant throne of Takum had been a symbol of division for nearly three decades and adding it was a Time for, time for reconciliation, unity, and progress. He appealed to the people to give peace a chance and to continue to support his administration. Today, we bring peace and unity to Takum. As the chief of Takum, you must rule with integrity and respect for all. The governor advised the new traditional rulers. In his address, a former governor of Plateau State, Joe Najan, called as governors to seek a constitutional amendment to accommodate state police. He said in the face of current security challenges, each state needs its police. Also, at the event where Governor Godwin Abasike of Edo State and many others dignitari, dig, dig, dignitaries, in his vote of thanks, Boshi, the new chief, 
called on the people to forget their difference and join their hand to build Tarakon. Patience, boy, reporting for Taravan News.